This is the third video in a series of videos of understanding Istio's root CA and certificate authority signing uh, capabilities and making changes to it, rotating the certificates and doing so in a way that uh, minimizes or eliminates downtime. So my name is Christian Posta. I work for Solo.io. I've been contributing, working on Istio for approximately a little, you know, over three years. And uh, at Solo, we help our customers with these types of, of problems. So in the previous videos, which I encourage you to go back and look at, we set the stage for what our root CA structure looks like. If I do here, you can see, you can see that we have intermediate certificates signed by different roots, or in this case, root A, which is what we'll focus on. And in the immediately previous video, we swapped out Istio's self-signed gen and self-generated root CA for the intermediate CA that has been signed by root A. And in this demo, what we're going to take a look at is rotating that intermediate CA. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at our existing root CA signed by uh, root A, which is E, it looks like it ends in E, B, O. If we make a call, oh, actually, let's do the other video, the other demo. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, update our intermediate with a uh, with intermediate 2. So we'll, first of all, we're going to delete the CA secrets, which is what Istio uses to bootstrap from as mentioned in the previous video. And now what we're going to do is recreate that CA certs with an intermediate CA that has been signed by the root A CA. But this is going to be a different intermediate than the one that's already installed in, in Istio right now. Different intermediate, same root. So now let's restart Istio D. Let's actually come here and go to K9s. Look at Istio system. We should see Istio D restarting. This should pick up our new intermediate CA over here. If we check proxy status between the uh, the different services, we should see that um, it's it's coming up or that. The config has actually been synced. And then what we're going to do is restart the HTTP bin workload. And you notice in the previous demos, but we, when we did this, when we changed the CA, that the connections would break between the, the different workloads. Now, we don't want that to happen. All right, so let's let's try it again. Between sleep and HTTP bin, oh, it works. It works this time. And the reason for that is because we, we changed the intermediate to a different CA, and now new workloads are being signed with that CA, but it's still anchored in the same root, root A. And so we can we can validate that or show that. So uh, in HTTP bin, which is a new workload, we just restarted it. Let's shell into it. Come over here and do curl HTTP host. Take a look at the certs. Oops, certs. Come back here. Pick up the root root right here, CA cert, and this should be done. If we do an inspect of, nope, 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 nope. we want to, well, inspect should see 65. This is the serial number for the root. 65 EC, so 
This is about EC. So these are definitely anchored in the same route, which is why we didn't see the traffic disruption. Now, in the next video, what we're going to look at is introducing the a, a, a new route. And in video number uh, two, we saw that that would break our connections. But we're going to do that in such a way that it doesn't break the, the connections in the next video. So go, go watch that and, uh, and stay tuned to the series.